here's a question for you. Can you be arrested for speech in this country? Well, the short answer is yes. An interesting story unfolded earlier this month at Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting. One of the scheduled speakers, Peter Flaherty from the National Legal and Policy Center, challenged the multinational conglomerate to separate the position of CEO and chairman, based largely on the fact that the current CEO and chairman, Warren Buffett, gave heavily to Bill Gates' philanthropic organization, which pushes things like gender theory. Well, his comments landed him in handcuffs. Here's some of what he said during that meeting. If we had an independent chair, the company would be less identified with Mr. Buffett's political activities. He's donated tens of billions to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. As Bill Gates explained, when the company was still together, although the company bears our names, Basically, half our resources have come from Warren Buffett. If woke culture is the disease, then philanthropy is the virus. The Gates Foundation bankrolls the teaching of critical race theory around the country, including that math is inherently racist. The Gates Foundation offers a gender identity toolbox, which asserts that gender is a result of socially and culturally constructed ideas. This is a lie. Gender is not a cultural construct. It is a genetic and biological fact. We know how much Bill Gates cares about children. He met and traveled with Jeffrey Epstein many times after Epstein's convicted sex crimes. The Gates Foundation had a huge influence over the COVID response fiasco. The Gates Foundation may be the largest single donor to the dark money machine known as Arabella and Society. We don't get funds to causes like defunding our police, making American cities unlivable. Money goes also to groups conducting threats. Well, you heard the booze, and you also heard that his microphone ended up getting cut off, but it got even worse, folks. An Omaha police officer grabbed him by the arm and forced him out of the venue, informing Flaherty that he was under arrest. So, what was he arrested for, you ask? Well, the official report says trespassing, even though Flaherty was a scheduled speaker. The charges were eventually dropped, but Peter Flaherty, the man who you just saw in that video, he joins me now to discuss the situation Peter, thanks for being here. Not trying to be funny, but glad you're out of handcuffs, my friend. All right, well, me too. Good to see you, Terrence. All right, so we kind of heard your speech there. Give us the background here. Give us some perspective before we dig a little deeper into what happened here. Sure. Um, we have something called the Corporate Integrity Project, and the heart of that project is shareholder activism. This year, we have proposals before 26 companies. We address a number of issues, including an independent chairman. There are companies like Berkshire Hathaway and Coca-Cola and Bank of America where the chairman and the CEO are the same person. And we argue that this creates uh, a uh, concentration of power in one person that's unhealthy for the corporation. Now, you, you might find that a strange formulation when you're talking about Berkshire Hathaway because Warren Buffett is so closely identified with the company. They're almost the same thing in the minds of the public. But my argument is that it makes for an even more dangerous situation. When you're getting good publicity, uh, everything is great. But when you're getting negative publicity, uh, namely uh, Warren Buffett's close identification with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the, um, uh, the negative attention can rub mm -hmm. off on the company. It's called reputational risk. Uh, these independent chairman uh, resolutions are kind of Good Corporate Governance 101. They're supported by both liberal and conservative shareholder activists. Uh, I guess at the Berkshire Hathaway meeting, I brought up something that was just too uncomfortable for Warren Buffett, and he resorted to, uh, to, to uh, having me arrested. 